Yeah, <laughs> Claire. <laughs> hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. Hey, I'm Scott. I'm Bart. We got David Nicholson, Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Is he a golfer? That's Jack. <laughs> Test it! You sure it's not golfing style? It's actor style. <laughs> <laughs> So, we're it's Kentucky Straight Bourbon, 100 proof, so 50 ABV. It's already taken a little hit. I believe we had this out at the gathering. Wasn't this no. out at the gathering? No, no that's from uh, Whiskey Scout. Whiskey Scout brought that over. Got it. So we tipped a few. I'm pretty sure, unless you bought it. <laughs> no, I you didn't. do have a price written on it. There is a price on there. $24.99. Ooh, looks like your writing. <laughs> it is my it. writing. I don't know. There's so many. These did just show up in our area. Got it. Maybe a month I don't ago, think I two months it. ago. I think that's Scout. I thought I thought Scout. He probably right. told me what how much it was or something. So this is bottled in or bottled by David Nicholson Distillery. Right. St. Louis, Missouri. Got it. Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey, one hundred proof. But not bottled in bond. It does not say anywhere. Just mm. one hundred proof. Good point. Back on. It is a screw on cap with no seal there. Interesting. So, how good is $25 whiskey? We shall see. Well, I actually had a uh, sample, and we don't have any coins either. That's I forgot good. about oh, that. Oh, That's okay. Okay. Um, I had a sample of one. There's a couple of versions of David Nicholson, and I had a sample that I did a quick hitter on a while back. How do we not know David? And it was good. I feel like I should know it. It was decent. <laughs> I feel like... It's got, got a good nose. Good bourbon nose. Cinnamon. Oak. A little bit of dust. A little bit of corn. Yeah, I definitely get the dust. And I'm going to echo you. I pick up the oak. A <laughs> little bit of spice. Dusty oak. All spice. I was a little turned off there. I have the uh, air conditioner or the heater off. However, I believe I have the air circulation still on. Sorry. Threw me. Trying to see you right. I mean, the allspice. I almost get like this sounds crazy, but a little bit of pumpkin. So maybe that's my own mind there. Mm -hmm. It's almost like a crust, though. Mm. Huh. Nice, smooth entry, buttery, creamy, mm. cinnamon. <laughs> I just like. How did that happen? You just had that I whole spilled patch, it all didn't you? over. Yeah. Well, it smells great in my hand. Butter toffee. Yeah, I even get um, I get a better nose on the hand. Butter scotch. Wow, man, I haven't spilled that much. I'm glad it was with twenty five ninety nine bottle. <laughs> <laughs> that was Dark Cove CR. I would have been mm. like, ah. Hmm. <laughs> mm. Nice candy corn, butter scotch. Cream, a lot of a lot of corn on the on the forefront for mm -hmm. sure. <sighs> yeah, buttered popcorn. Buttered popcorn is the finish I'm I'm getting. It's, Come on, give me a little dollop. Bloop. Um, shoot for twenty five dollars. Well, smooth. It doesn't have a harsh bite for twenty five ninety nine. Sorry, twenty four ninety nine. The finish still lingers with a buttered popcorn. Other, I mean, and this isn't disparaging. Other than that, it's the standard bourbon. Yeah, I think flavors. so. Yeah, so little little splash of rye, little splash of black pepper on the finish. Really, mm -hmm. I didn't get that. Hmm. So for me, it's a standard bourbon. With a heavier corn influence. Standard mm -hmm. bourbon for me means the caramels, the toffees, the oak. Although the dusty wood on the nose. But it's that buttered popcorn finish, which I do not always get with a bourbon. And which I do enjoy. I don't get as much as the, of the creaminess, just a buttered popcorn. I don't think had I spent $24 mm. on this bottle, I'd been disappointed. Mm -mm. At all. I've had worse bourbons. Oh. For more money. Probably. 
trying to think of one. Um, 87. I'd, I'd say 85. Okay. So there's something you don't like? Huh. That's kind of your standard open. Right. Standard open, 85. Yeah. Okay. Me meets expectations. I like the corn. I like the buttered popcorn. So... And that well, actually, you know the um, the one hundred proof mm -hmm. hides it. It doesn't feel feel that high. Right, it's smooth. It doesn't feel uh, young. I mean, I know it's Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. Actually, I've got to start tempering some of my scores anyway. <laughs> no, you don't. Be you. <laughs> Just be you. Yeah, it's good. There's nothing wrong with it. Uh, um, it it's in the pack of bourbons. Yeah. 85. On your scoring system, you actually had me thinking about where you said kind of everything for you, you let it start at an 85, and it can either fall down a little bit uh -huh. or up. So 85, which I think is a good, solid anything, you would even be talking a solid B. And then for you, you've got some that will fall down into a low B or high C, or some go A, and then you'll have the occasional like 11. Which means you didn't even show up for class. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just pack you know, you your had a stuff. 10. You had a 10 on something that just hit you terrible. Just and I think that's good. Pack your stuff. Don't right. even touch the doorknob right. on your way out. You showed up in, at school. That's, high. that's only happened a couple of times. <laughs> right. Which it should. Yeah. I mean, this is a good point, though. Some people even argue over what type of system, what's it worth. First of all, the system is not. We're not saying you have to follow it. This is what we follow. That's why I actually liked your beginning. I was thinking a lot about this lately. You started 85. Before uh, my, before I crack a bottle open, every bottle's mm -hmm. an 85 mm -hmm. until I open it. And it either goes up or it goes down, depending on that. So 85 is my is par for the course. You had And, and you ex told me that, and I didn't know that. I think you told me that like four weeks ago, and I've been thinking about it. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you add in, which I won't grab, but I like. I like your plus minus whatever. Sometimes because it works gives you. Way, sometimes yeah. you have this varying <laughs> thing, which I like. I like that though, that it can move and, and change around. So, because uh, what do you mean you're trying to lock them in better or what or be more? What were you thinking? Uh, I said temper them. Better. Temper them. Sorry. Well, I get I get a lot of static for for scoring high, and I do. I score higher than you do. Um, I think my average score is probably it. I mean, if you went through all the 500 whiskeys we've done, my average score is probably an 88. We need somebody to do that for us. <laughs> somebody needs to track all those. We had somebody doing my, it, and then we, we fell by the wayside. We grabbed theirs. Yeah, but my average score over those 500 whiskeys is probably an 88, 89. Yours is probably an 85. I mean, I so know, you're, I've never scored anything we, at 10. Well, <laughs> you probably well, bring your thing down with that's that true. 10. That's true. Um, my in my defense, though, when when people say, "Hey, you scored a lot of whiskeys high," we've reviewed a lot of good whiskeys. Yeah, we I will, really haven't had that many subpar whiskeys. No, I will tell you, like when we first this was early on, we grabbed the Jack Daniels Old Number Seven. I thought I'm gonna this is gonna be terrible, right? And yeah. I was like, "Holy moly, this it's, is great!" It's I mean, not too I bad really, on its really own. enjoyed it. I yeah. enjoyed it on its own. I'd only I don't even know if I'd ever even had it straight before. I'd had it mixed in coke, but so. The reason I bring that up and this up is that I actually think where we're at, the the products being produced are already at a very high level. Mm -hmm. And I think that is the tough, the tough thing here is, you know, uh, and even the thing that, I won't name it, but the one you got, it hit your palate wrong. It wasn't that it was a bad whiskey. It was an Irish peated whiskey, which... Well, that one. I was thinking of the more recent one. Oh, we don't I was need, thinking, We don't need to mention right. it. But, but just how it hit you different, I thought that... Because really, the only thing the score is good for is what's your palate, what's mine. Yeah. You have to watch us. You have to get to know us. You have to know how we score things. You have to pick up on what we're saying about it. If we both mm -hmm. are going raving on and mm -hmm. on about a whiskey... And we both scored in the 90s. You that's need to go one. get that ball. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> when we're both up there, even in the 92s, the, now yeah. you're talking convergence. Yeah. And that's where I think the buying thing comes from. Or you know you like that Scott's profile is closer to you. Mm -hmm. I've had people come up and say, I'm a p dead like you, but not as wacky. Mm -hmm. Meaning they probably, <laughs> they're more like you, but they're a p dead. <laughs> Sorry, that one yeah. caught you. All right, that's just my <laughs> thought on our scoring system. Yeah. Uh, traveling dummy, <laughs> Big Lowe's 206. I like that. He's at Disneyland in California. He was doing a family trip. This was back in the summertime. Summer. 
Or no, actually, no, this, no, was, this, was, uh, this is from October. Yeah, because yeah. they've gone into the uh, Halloween mode. Yep. Um, Pumpkins. He's got coin 288 up. Day two with the mouse, he says. Scotch dummy represent. See, I like that. He's got his, but he's got good that, thumbs. And you see the, the big pumpkin, the Mickey Mouse pumpkin right. back there. It's ears. So are that's not the pumpkins. best picture. Really? No. Oh. So you're going to show both of them. Ooh. He's with the trooper. Big Lowe's with the stormtrooper. Look, he looks like well, he no, can that's join. Well, no, that's not the stormtrooper. Those are... Um, Those are the, yeah, the, the future ones in the Force from, Awakens. Yeah. What are they called? They're called the, the Fifth Element. <laughs> That's a different sci-fi show. <laughs> Look at him, though. He looks like he's like the commander. Do they the, still call him stormtroopers? There's something. They're, let's just know. say they're stormtroopers. They're yeah. almost so close. I know they've got the updated helmet there. Yeah. Hopefully it stops rounds better. But look I at would him. go. Looks, we've got like we've got we've got, two, we've got two kids, two yeah. boys. We never went to Disney World or Disneyland. Yeah. I would go though just for the new Star Wars stuff that they're oh, building boy, to see. Know. See, if I went, I wouldn't even take the kids. It'd be oh, just like you know. Oh, me. Well, there you go. But I, I, I didn't. I went to Disneyland once, and it wasn't. A, I, I would rather go like Epcot and some of the movie stuff. I think would be way better. That's just me. So, hmm. but boy, does he? What's his shirt say? I'm a beast or something? What does it say? Her beast. Her beast. Oh, it's a Beauty and the Beast oh, t-shirt, I bet. Beauty and the Beast. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Look, he looks like he could join the ranks of the troopers. <laughs> he looks very serious there. Like he's asking where the droids are. <laughs> and you can't fool me. I'm excited. Scotch it. You scotch gods. Solange. Wait, wait. Oh, Solange. Oh, Solange. Oh, Solange. <laughs> Dummies. <laughs> and then the sound kicks off.